stories are important in restorative justice and what we do. But the reason why they're so important is because they're so powerful. Uh, coming into LCJP last year as a complete novice to restorative justice, not really knowing to the full extent what that meant or how to embody it, the way that I found myself to be a productive member of the team was through the storytelling of my coworkers. They would share the stories of people that had come in into the program and how they developed and how their journey changed because of them coming to the program. And that's incredibly important. Uh, that's how I learned. And I think that's an incredible tool for everybody to learn is through storytelling. I think about this saying like, hurt people hurt people, right? You hear that all the time. And it's true in that when harm is done and there's a lack of repair there, then that's a learning experience, right? You learn that this happens, this doesn't get repaired. And then that creates, in some cases, a cycle of repeating that because you learn that maybe that behavior is normal. Uh, Maybe it doesn't warrant repair or a response. Um, maybe you're holding feelings of uh, resentment uh, that you didn't receive healing so that other people don't deserve healing or that, uh, you know, I'm hurting in this way and that's normal for my experience. So it's not a big deal if I create that harm for other people, whatever that looks like. Um, but yeah, when we don't experience repair, when we don't experience healing, that is going to create a tension, it's going to create a scar, an open wound that is going to stick with us and present itself in whatever way that looks like uh, until it does, we do find whatever that healing or repair looks like. Community restorative justice lets us redefine what justice means by shifting the focus from punishment to healing, restoration, and reconciliation. <laughs>